Now then, that story I started earlier. I was to tell you the story of Hrungnir the Brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but no. Hrungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect sympathy. And we'll pick this up later. Before. Was I? Oh yes! The real story of Tunia the Brawler, a giant with head and heart of stone. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. Does he laugh? Oh no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down the Olnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrungnir in his own skull to this day. Hey. So startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hrungnir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And we'll pick this up later. Ah, I can read what this says now. But it's a name. The name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. The waterfall is even bigger now that the water's dry. We could beach the boat here. Come here. Can you finish that story you started? I can indeed. Where were we? Go. Oh, Thor smashes the stone head of Runia. He falls upon him with a sickening crunch. And we'll pick this up later. Focus up!
That was difficult.
Come here. Can you finish that story you started? I can indeed. Where were we? Go. Oh. Thor smashes the stone head of Runia, who falls upon him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as with the 